QA is the sum of all those activities in which the laboratory is engaged to ensure that information generated by laboratory is correct. QA includes all aspects of laboratory activities that affects the results produced, from the choice of methods, to the education of personnel, to the handling of specimens and reporting results. The real purpose of QA activities is to determine how correct or incorrect the results emanating from the lab are, and to allow those managing the lab to determine whether or not the lab is fulfilling its functions satisfactorily. Three major activities of QA. 1. Preventive. Those activities that are done prior to the examination of the specimen or sample, and that are intended to establish systems conducive to accuracy testing, e.g., preventive maintenance and calibration of instruments, testing of media, orientation and training of personnel. 2. Assessment. Those activities that are done during testing to determine whether Whether the test systems are performing correctly, e.g., the use of standard and controls, maintenance of control charts, 3. Corrective, those activities that are done when error is detected to correct the system, e.g., equipment troubleshooting, recalibration of instruments. QA in Hematology Laboratory QA in Hematology Lab is intended to ensure the reliability of the lab tests. The objective is to achieve precision and accuracy for components of QA program. 1. Internal Quality Control, IQC. 2. External Quality Control, EQC. Accuracy The closeness of the estimated value to the true mean can be checked by the use of reference materials, which have been assayed by independent methods of known precision precision reproducibility of a results, whether accurate or inaccurate within a defined frame time, e.g., within the same day, from week to week etc., can be controlled by replicate tests, check tests on previously measured specimens, and statistical evaluation of results. Internal Quality Control, IQC Based on monitoring the hematology tests procedures that are performed in the lab includes measurements on controls, and is intended to ensure that there is continual evaluation of the reliability of the work of the lab, and that control is exercised over the release of the results. External Quality Control, EQC is the objective evaluation by an outside agency of the performance by a number of laboratories on material, which is supplied specially for the purpose is usually organized on a national or regional basis. Analysis of performance is retrospective. The objective is to achieve comparability with results of other labs. Quality assurance in hematology. Statistics of QC mean, X, the total score of all the measurements divided by the number of measurements. Standard deviation, SD, variation in measurement obtained in lab tests formula, SD equals sigma, X, X, 2N, 1N, number of measurement. Coefficient of variation, CV, relation of SD to the actual measurement formula, CV equals SDX 100% X analysis of data standard deviation of control specimens. If value assigned to a specimen a number of times, dispersion of results around the mean will indicate the error of reproducibility. 95% of results on the same specimen should be within plus or minus 2 SD and 99.7% within plus or minus 3 SD. By chance, 1 in 20 of measurement might expect it to fall outside 2 SD, and only 1 in 333 outside 3 SD. If measurement more widely dispersed, this indicates an error in the test control charts originally described by Sheward, first applied in clinical chemistry, by Levy, and Jennings samples of the control specimen, are included in every batch of patient specimens, and the results checked on a control chart to check precision. It is not necessary to know the exact value of the control specimen value has been determined reliably by a reference method. The same material can be used to check accuracy, or to calibrate an instrument if possible. 
Controls with high, low, and normal values should be used advisable to use at least one control sample per batch. Even if the batch is very small, the results obtained with the control samples can be plotted on a chart. Control materials specially prepared it may be anticoagulated WB, preserved pooled red cells, plasma, or serum it can be used to check for accuracy if the value has been reliably determined, e.g., reference center, should have controls of high, normal, and low values at least one control specimen should be used for every batch if large specimens. Use one control for every 20 specimens the same material is used for EQC or also as calibrator. External QC the major purpose, to achieve harmonization concordance between labs the principle, is that the same material is sent from a national or regional center to a large number of laboratories all the labs send the results back to the center where they are analyzed and interpreted by one of several procedures from the results returned from the participants. The median or mean and SD are calculated in individual lab, can then compare its performance in the survey with that of other labs and with its own previous performance, using deviation index, a deviation index, score, equals actual results, weighted median slash mean for test weighted SD interpretation, 0 0.5, excellent, 0 0.5 to 1.0, satisfactory 1.0, 2.0, acceptable 2.0, defect requiring attention. Organizations, A, National External Quality Assurance Program, NICAP, Puzat Dara Nagara B, Royal College of Pathologists of Australia, RCPA, C, International EQA Scheme.